Hey guys, it's Sydney Galpern here from SeeMeCakes.com and it is New Year's Eve this weekend so today we are making some dark chocolate amaretto truffles with an extra shot. So what we're going to do is we're going to make my super easy chocolate ganache recipe for truffles. So I'm starting out with two parts of chocolate and one part of heavy cream. So the heavy cream I'm just weighing out onto my scale, my food scale there, and we're going to bring that to a boil. You want to get it when it's just boiling. So in the meantime, while that warms up, we are going to take our chocolate and put it in a heat safe bowl. I'm using Ghirardelli 60% so like a semi-sweet chocolate and uh, I really like this one because it's really good quality but it's also really accessible and easy to get at the grocery store. So I'm just going to use a 10 ounce bag. Then once my cream has started to boil we are going to pour that over top of our chocolate and that's going to start to melt the chocolate chips in the bowl. Now you want to cover this to trap in all of that warmth so you can use a lid. I don't have a lid to this bowl so I'm just going to use a plate to kind of um, contain all of the steam in Inside. That will be perfect. Look at all that delicious chocolatey goodness in there. Oh my gosh, I am so excited. Now you're gonna want to touch this. You're gonna want to mix it. You're gonna want to just mess with it. Resist the urge. You want to let it steep in there and get nice and melted so you don't have clumps. But after about five minutes, it should be warm enough that you can go ahead and remove that lid and start to stir everything together. Now as you're stirring, it's gonna look like you did everything wrong at first. You didn't, it's gonna take some time, trust the process. Just keep stirring until all of the cream and the chocolate have mixed together thoroughly. Now I am using a dark chocolate for this, so keep in mind if you wanna do a milk or a white chocolate, you wanna use half as much cream so that it's not gonna, going to be too soft when it sets up. This is gonna be a nice solid center. Now we're gonna use a little bit of oil-based flavoring mixed into the ganache and that is going to give us that delicious amaretto flavor. You can substitute any flavor that you want in an oil-based flavoring, but oh my gosh, this smells absolutely amazing. I wish you could smell that. So we're just going to use a little tiny bit. It doesn't take much. I'm using maybe a quarter of a teaspoon here, like five to 10 drops if you're using a dropper and just do it to taste. You can kind of taste test it as you go to see how potent that you want that to be. So I am mixing all of that together, and like I said, you can customize the flavor of this if you wanted to do a champagne or a strawberry with the chocolate. Really, the sky is the limit here. It's all up to you how you want to customize this, but I thought Amaretto is perfect for New Year's. All right, and of course, we have to taste test it now, make sure it's all good, and then we're going to pop this into the fridge for a few hours to set up. So once it sets up, we are gonna roll this into balls. I like to do a one to two bite kind of size truffle and we're just going to put those back onto a sheet pan and then chill them again until they set up. You don't want it to melt uh, once we coat them in chocolate. So I'm just gonna pop them back into the fridge in the meantime after I roll each one of these individual truffles here. This next step is optional, but you know I gotta be extra, so I'm just gonna temper up some chocolate real quick using the tabling method, as you can see here, and that will give us a nice shiny coating to go on the outside. And then I'm gonna roll them in a mixture of sugar and some edible glitter. I'm using diamond dust, and we wanna add lots of diamond dust because we are no panic and all disco today. So we're rolling those around, and now some of them I do wanna infuse with one of those cute little pipettes. So before the outside coating of the chocolate gets too hard, I'm inserting the pipette and then rolling it in some extra kind of coating. Now you can use amaretto or whatever kind of um, shot that you want to inside the pipette, but I'm actually gonna use Bailey's because I think it pairs really well with the amaretto um, and it kind of just adds another level of flavor to it. So I'm just filling that up and then reinserting that back into the truffle. And don't worry if they don't stand up properly, you might not either after a couple of these and um, you can lay them down or use a little bit of chocolate to attach them. And then of course, we gotta do the taste test. Make sure everything's all good before serving them to friends and family. Make sure to follow for more recipes, and until next time, keep life sweet.